Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51. This is Runbad and his High Elves versus Leet and his Kemri. Um, are there any inducements? No, no inducements in play whatsoever. Oh, and 13 players for Runbad, including, of course, this dodge sidestep guard blitzer. <laughs> this is key fouling piece. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, move up, add jump, catch her, some bludge step, might blow tackle her. It's, it's all right, unspectacular, but, uh, gets the job done. Uh, Leet's got a tackle pommer and a tackle pommer <laughs> and pretty decent toomies and a really nice thrower really nice so he did protect against the blitz as well though a little bit lax over there but that's a long way so I, I thought it was okay his, his setup Elite. And I also don't mind just having this guy holding the sideline because he's got stand firm and everything, so then keeping this guy a bit more central. I thought that was a good turn from Leet. Run bad, not. Not trying anything apart from putting in this guard. Oh my god, is he gonna. Is he gonna 1D this? Jesus Christ. I guess he is armor 8, so. Oh, and then run through, okay. Okay, this is pretty, uh, pretty rowdy, and not terrible from Runbad. <laughs> I'm not saying that terrible is the default of Runbad players. You know, maybe he's Runbad fouls. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> was there was it wasn't shock. It wasn't shock. I wasn't. I wasn't being mean. <laughs> there was no shock. Hmm. I think maybe if you do that play, you should maybe commit to it with the air uh, catch as well. Like a good catcher. Because if that good catcher had, like, you know, rolled some edge five dice and got through here or something, then uh, it's a bit more exciting, isn't it? But then I guess he didn't want that exposed to a pom blitz. And I guess he still probably wins if this is a one in nine pickup fail. Or if either of the GFIs fail, or maybe it's just one. It's one because he's move up. It's really bad that I just knew, like, I didn't count the squares or anything, but I knew that was going to be two GFIs. Oh. That's when you know you've played Blood Bowl too long. High Elves have got great sound effects, haven't they? Glorious. And Mighty Blow this armor eight, pretty good. Yeah, quite like this, quite like this. You know, he got the he got the heat on, and then he's uh, regrouped because it didn't pay off. I'd really like to foul this guy. And he does have an edge five move nine player, so maybe, maybe this catcher should foul this. No, it doesn't doesn't go doesn't go for the foul with a move nine edge five. Sad. <laughs> Guys want him to do it every match now. <laughs> Just foul with his best player. A run bad foul. Oh wow, blitzing a rustler. Always risque. Unless you have jugs. Oh, 
Unless you have a lovely pair of jugs. <laughs> We've got Paravel Blitzers as well now. <laughs> he thought he'd moved him all The table score, yeah. I don't think he had to GFI the last one, right? He could have, he could have been short, I'm pretty sure. I think that would still be a 4 plus dodge in with a guard. So maybe he just didn't need to do the last one. He did pass the edge 5 foul, glorious. <laughs> <laughs> We've all done it. We've all done it, Paravel. We haven't all got a 1D Blitz named after us though, so there you go. <laughs> Looks like there is a foul coming here. And this time with a rookie player. Oh, sad. I quite like this. An Armored Tomb Guardian is a bit of a weak link, isn't it? So it's a pretty good thing to go for. In both blitzing it with Mighty Blow and, and then eventually going for a foul. I think that's fine. <laughs> oh dear. Are we gonna blitz down the sideline or just go back to the middle? Turn four. This is a bit risky this going back to the centre here on turn four. <laughs> That's usually my plan for Chalice Perivale. <laughs> The sad thing is, I think I've played pretty good. I think I've played pretty good some of the chalices and then just hasn't worked out. Yeah, Tom, but because you play in, because uh, you play in the weak, the weak time zone, don't you, Tom? That's the thing. You play in the Tom Schniz time zone, so that's why you don't get anything named after you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, even the Tom Schnee's time zone is really the Kadenic time zone. Because he's just, he, he looms over it like a colossus. And you just have to dodge him and you're golden, yep, exactly. Yeah, it, it does seem that way, Game of Vision. It does seem that way. You know, obviously had some good luck on some of the wins. But I guess that's mostly how it's going to be, right? Like, that's mostly how it's going to be. It's it's going to it's gonna take bad dice when you lose, generally. The General Lee doesn't re-roll that. I'm, I might have wanted to do that. I'm, I, I would have wanted to re-roll that. Is he going to GFI in and make that 2D? Oh, he didn't even need to. Wait, he's not blocking? Wait, why isn't he assisting with a zombie? Skellington. So you got to hit this guy, haven't you? you got to... Don't you GFI with the Toomey? Like, who cares about protecting the ball? Smash the shit out of his catcher. It's fucking armor six. And you've got to tackle Palmer. Is he just going to 1D it? Use his reroll on the 1D? Oh, he's used his reroll there. Is he still going to... Well, I guess maybe he's doing 1D now. Do you 1D it here? Oh, diced. Alright, Paravale, alright. I just misspoke, okay? I know Kemrys have skeletons. God. Just like you allegedly know how God works. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, the reroll comes in here. Boosh! <laughs> Smacks him into next week. Glorious. I think I preferred him here or here because I don't think it's turn six right he can't afford to switch back here so you want him like here so he can cover down here or something so a little bit of a mistake there by run bad I would say if you're watching run bad there's a free little free little bit of coaching there Wow, he's really not pushing forward. So he could have had another catcher here free to do whatever he wanted with, and instead it's trapped now on tackle. Well, not the tackle matters. Oh, that should have punch with it, I guess. Still needs to defend the score ball. Oh, blitz with this and then uh, get everyone out of 2 plus. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Could have wee walled. But then I guess you want the wee wall for the uh, dodge out. Mm, dice. Another good turn from Runbad. Um, does it, did, did, you know when Run, did Runbad stream this? Did he have a... Was he on a Discord call with PC at the time? <laughs> Just a joke. Just a joke. This is good. This is really good from them. But like, I'm not. I'm not really surprised. <laughs> but I do think this is uh, the best I've seen in play. To be honest. But now the the switch back. I mean, I don't know what, what the play is here. Yeah. He's just gonna oh, double GFI his move seven. Just double GFI it. On one. Double GFI next turn. Just gotta get there. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good from Leet. So after saying bring that back there, because he couldn't reverse it, he did actually reverse it the next turn. But he can blitz the tackle palmer and then make some kind of a screen or whatever. Uh, fair enough, Perovale. I think I might have even seen Dog to the Dog play well one turn. <laughs> On occasion. So more than once. <laughs> Kemri without a dome, thank God. I guess so, Paravel, yeah. I'm not sure about the fall. Like, it's just. I guess it's m making him use his plumber. And he can't afford any lateral movement, can he? So this is pretty, pretty difficult. Is he just gonna like four, four, three it through? I guess he has to. <laughs> oh 
Marcus Human Flings. All very difficult matchups, Paravea. Is that wrong? Oh no, he's got side step, I was gonna say, isn't it? Better with some side step. 4-4-3. Four, four, and he made the first one. Doesn't make the second 4 plus. And no scoring threat for uh, for run bad. He was down 3 players. Could he have afforded a or manufactured a scoring threat as well as defending it this well? Probably not. I uh, could have pushed him there and got another hit. Could have changed the uh, could have changed the Skellington here and got another hit. We just wanted a foul. No. I don't like this foul. At all. Much prefer chaining another hit. Right, well, successful half from Run Bad, playing brilliantly. Not surprised, by the way. <laughs> Hash Brown, not surprised. Duckies, lizards, yeah, that's fair enough. I do, yes, for all the forgotten. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what? Cobra Kai is. Hello, Elite. Just been talking all game about how fan fantastically Runbad's been playing. Um. Yours was all right. <laughs> Not noteworthy. <laughs> but run bad. Oh, thing of beauty. Oh, is it? Oh, it's not a full dacker. Oh, it's a half dacker. It's a yakka. Well, not what I would have done. But who can say if it's shit and wrong? I mean, I can say it's shit and wrong. Now I wouldn't say proper shit, but. Uh just unremarkable, you know, just like a normal game. Covered the blitz and stuff, fine, and, uh, you know, got in scoring range in the end. Maybe it's a bit of an ambitious drive at points with Kemri, but then move seven made it uh, a bit more possible, didn't it? I do not like the yakka. See there, Leet. You can t you can tell that he's uh, he's suffering, making plays such as not piling on, <laughs> not instantly piling on. <laughs> the holiday hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
imagine not piling on. That would be like Runbad not fouling with his bloodstep guarder. <laughs> Yeah, this guy exposed is pretty brutal. Oh wow. One being a stun firmer. Not what I would have done. Blitzing the blood step. Oh well. That, uh, this guy has to get fouled now, but it hasn't fouled with that dirty player because this 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 guy's getting surfed, isn't he? Uh, this Pommer's getting surfed right now. So, yeah, bit of contact. Make run bad. Think about that. And pay. Oh, yeah. Just, just push him and then surf him. Easy. I bet a million dollars on this happening. A million dollars. One million dollars! <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't have done irrelevant dodges first though. He was gonna do it, wasn't he? He was gonna he was gonna go for it, but he just did an irrelevant dodge first. Like two irrelevant dodges first, but so I was, I was so you know, so Leek did do what I said. He did engage them so he'd, he would he would have to roll the dice first or be left exposed if he failed it. But like he had to go for that serve, didn't he? Because it's a tackle pummel. Like you have to, you have to go for that serve. And he was gonna go for it, but he decided to play a little bit safe. I, I think it was right to just go for the one first, and then you know see if you just get the serve, and then if you get the serve, good. If you don't. Fuck it, your team gets wrecked by Mighty Blow. <laughs> Fuck it. You've got some dodge. Let's flip and go. And the payoff is too high, like both in terms of the driver and in terms of the chalice equity and everything as well. That surf is really nice. Really nice. The problem that the can we have here is it's literally impossible to defend it against this guy. Dorkmanship. No, especially if he wanders through. Ha! Oh wow, going for the pass. <laughs> uh, that's not even what I would have done. That is a bit mental at uh at nil nil with three re rolls in chalice. Especially as you wanted to like literally go here and pass it to him. Like so <laughs> The ball's blitzable. And that could have been a handoff. And then this guy could have gone here and passed it. And then that guy could have gone there. So you could have actually protected the ball with a pass. And got something out of it. It was just to put him in MVP range as well. That was a, that's what I like to call a Rick pass. <laughs> MVP ready, guys. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Except he'd probably do it when he's losing 1-0 as well. But, you know. Ever the optimist, isn't he, Rick? So is this guy double GFI for the assist? And then he blitzes. Oh, 
correct. The river is in here. Yeah, it's nice. Though. It's just terrible. It's from there. Gets the pal. I don't even know why I assist from here, but I just feel like assisting from here is better. Maybe it isn't. Because this, this makes like a longer screen, doesn't it, with the Toomey? But I just wanted to go here. I would have sized up to there, I think. But then, I don't know, I guess that gets in that way. Oh god, run bad. Okay, well, he gets the pal. Yeah, maybe Blitz from there. Mm. <laughs> Just roll all the dice. Oh, Zora, uh, does FIFA 2023 look pretty cool? I don't play FIFA anymore. We needed the AV oh wow got the oh, rolled all the dice here. Look at that recovers the ball. Get him up. And then do you dodge foul? Or do you just foul with this guy? Do you dodge foul here? Because you can dodge there, so you're covering the sideline. Obviously, if you fail, it's worse than not doing it. So it probably just run, does go through here, yeah. Really. It's coming in with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, a little bit dodgy here, though, because he needs a favourable bounce, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, that, that qualifies as favourable. <laughs> well, he got the job done in the end, run bad, but that was very sloppy. Not nowhere near as beautiful as the first half. But he is out of re-rolls, and Leet has four. But he only got three turns to score with Ken when he saw. Don't say it's over. No rerolls though. No re like you know, run bad should at least have one reroll because he should not have done that pass. Um, or at least when he did anyway. But funny enough, I feel like the pass. He could have done the pass that turn, but then to make the ball totally safe. And obviously if he deckered properly, then he could have got another turn before the breakthrough. Another two turns before the breakthrough, and then it's a turn it score. So, you know, I like that he attempted a dacker. Didn't dacker deep enough, broke through too early, but good effort. Not bad. You know, 7 out of 10. At least he tried. <laughs> oh, he gets a reroll from the kickoff. Oh, wow, what a kick. What a kick for Leet. Kemri three turn chance, just what he needed. Unbelievable, really. This looks like a defensive setup. He gets the. Uh, Gets the kick there. Nobody back to collect the ball. Gets a short kick. Outrageous. Oh, 
and of course Leap does play this runner as if he's movement nine. So <laughs> so only has to get four squares in to the other half next turn. Are we going to see a, <laughs> a receiving threat for the <laughs> for the ball carrier? No. Covering the backside. All right. Well, I already don't like this. Oh no! Run bad. No. Like it's it's not terrible. But all you have to do is knock over this guy and screen a bit. And instead that's a bit of a twat magnet, isn't it? Yep. I guess the thing is, it's still a pretty strong screen. It's still a pretty strong screen, but yeah, the catcher. There is a little scoot down the sideline. Possible. Yeah, I should have just should have just defended. <laughs> this is nice, isn't it? If you get to the pow, not so much if he doesn't. Gets the pal, look a dog. Yeah, yeah, like all he had to do was just elf elf screen it, wasn't it? And he had the players to just elf screen. And yeah, didn't. Or rather did, but just not next to the sideline. <laughs> Left a, a not a gaping hole, but a bit of a hole. Enough of a hole. But now can still just uh, L screen and basically shuts it down, doesn't it? Oh, the double ones! Double one wasn't it on the dodge. Can't blame Rumbad for that, but previous turn was the was the big one. Oh. oh god, he's cast. He's lost his best player, his favourite player. Strength busted. We're going to see greed blocks from Elite here with uh, two two pluses with a ball still to be rolled. Oh no, just one. Wow. A Kemri three turn. You don't see that every day. And it costs Runbad his best player. That that defense, if you can call that a defense, <laughs> it allowed the touchdown and cost Runbad his favorite player. Oh dear! But he's won the toss, and he's still got eleven players. But does he have the mental wherewithal to win the game without his favorite fucking player, man?
Yeah, this is a rowdy defense from Red Hair. I don't like how... Yeah, this is... You know, there's a time and a place for this kind of defense. And I think versus Elves that can score any turn of the half. This is really, really weak to a quick snap, isn't it? Unbelievably weak to a quick snap, so yeah. Yeah, I think you have to set up here for like for the quick snap. <laughs> well, there you go. So I would have set up for the quick snap as well, and then there you go. Would have knocked him, and then blitzed him, and then everything goes through. I mean, it still can a little bit, apart from he's moving away from there. Like, this is just too good to like it's too good to not go through that sideline isn't it like th this guy could have could have gone to the edge he just used this the, for an assist oh god not what I would have done so this guy could have gone there and then 2 d would him and then if you pow he threw and out right down yeah this is this is you know, maybe his head's maybe his head's dropped a little bit. Um, he likes this yakka, doesn't he? He likes he likes a yakka. Does run bad? I do not like the half dakka or oh, yakka. This is you know, it's just it's not what I would do. Who can say? Got a pad. I mean, everything I like is fine. He hasn't lost it that turn. It's just that he could have won it and didn't. <laughs> but it's still totally fine, yeah. Oh. It's not so fine now. His favourite player's gone. His guard has gone. <laughs> Exclamation point! Apologies, pretty great, isn't it? So we've got this. The the uh, elf screen is not easy to break down, is it? When they're uh, when they're strength five, stand firm is. So uh, run bad's gonna waste time and lose on kicks. Apparently, this is strategy here. Which, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good strategy. Um, I feel like not scoring and waiting until we lose is pretty good. He's got to jam in somewhere and try something at some point. And I just hate that he's just like letting his guys get blocked and stuff, you know, on the way pommed even, potentially. Like, he doesn't have to stall, does he? Like, the point of the Dakar is you have to stall out the half, you can't score early because then you'll lose. There's no need to stall this out. So, this is just taking attrition for no reason. This is like doing the opposite of a DACA, isn't it? This is literally doing the opposite of a DACA. Uh, there's, a, there's nothing wrong on my end, Perivale, so it must just be Twitch. A Twitch issue. Rather than a Jimmy Fantastic issue. Flipping Twitch. Indeed, Paravale, indeed. He's <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, so I've just seen this hit move here by uh, by Rundad, and it's it's not what I would have done, but he's going for the three-two through tackle. With nothing else, just just running over receiving threat down. Okay. I thought it was a bit dodgy to try and get everything through there, but he's not trying to get everything through. He's just he's just burning turns to losers. This is yeah. This this offensive drive has been. Well, both offensive drives haven't been great, have they? But uh, first half was great from them, but. Would have liked to see the centralised first here from uh, Elite. This guy could have just been centralised back back on the logo, couldn't he? Uh, I quite like just doing that first, get him back there. Because you've got a three reroll advantage, you don't have to turn him over and score, you just have to stop the score. So I would say, I would say get this guy back to the logo. Doesn't have to be that far back, but just get him back so you've got something, right? You Kemri, you're not you're not responsive at all. I guess this keeps the sideline strong, so it's fine. It's not wrong, but I would have done it and then maybe it's been exposed down this side and maybe it would have been wrong. Maybe all these dice would have been rolled, this guy knocked down and then all of a sudden the ball's down here and I'm like, oh at least I've got a safety they can't do fuck all. Dodging all these fellas. Nope. There we go with that, with that pow. Oh, the removal. I guess now, like one of them, one of these can go back more central. Like I, th I feel like you have to have somebody. Somebody just, you know, in case of breakaways. Because, like, just a potato from from Runbad is pretty strong, right? It's pretty likely to get through on threes. Threes and twos is pretty likely to get through, and then... It's pretty unlikely that you do much about it. Hello, find me. And it is nice. It is nice. Like the three, the three, four tackles are kind of nicely distributed. Oh, here we go, huge guard in there. No run bad, no. No run bad. Oh, this tackle, but still, it's a two plus and that's a three plus, right? So get you get your dodge in there and then 2D this guy, nail him. Because if that's a boat down, it's shit. Well, I guess there's the payoff of keeping him in the tackle zone, okay. Okay. There you go. There's there's pros and cons, isn't there? Pretty nice. Pretty nice, actually, from Runbad. Really nice. What does Leet have to do here? Dodge. Ah. Obviously, he can maybe clear him on a power. Just going to do for the 1D. I I quite like doing this hit and just see if you're powering. Hello, flux stream. Just quietly, if this tackler was on this logo, 
did get the power, but this was with the uh, hit with yeah, that was with him. See, so you've done that first, then you've got. Well, I mean, I guess the, obviously the blitz with a tackle is just the same as with wrestle, whereas now it's just obviously a better. It's a better success state, isn't it? Knocking him over with tackle than knocking taking him down with wrestle. I would like just to do it just to know what the situation was. Right. So Runbad has used his reroll. Is it just three two? Is that the best play? Might be, eh? Double one! Oh my god. Oh my god. Comedy Mega. There's only one GFI, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, two GFIs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one GFI. He was, was here, wasn't he? Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one GFI. Yeah. I don't think there was like a, a clever player that was better than that. Maybe there was. But. But anyway, you know, like the hard part was the three plus through tackle, and then he had the skill on the two. And uh, just a just a bit unlucky there on it from Runbad. Obviously, he doesn't have to count the score. Doesn't actually have to count the score. Yeah, three plus. The three for three tackle is a hard one, isn't it? And then two with dodge and then a GFI. Would have been very confident with a reroll, then funnily enough it was the uh, it was the skill reroll that failed anyway. Oh well going for the touchdown in normal time, no reason not to, no counter score available. You're just adding in a two, it's just it's just a brackets two. You're adding in a two for like the two with the reroll is just a two. Like Okay, here we go. Things happening. Penalties. Oh. Oh, this is thrilling. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that, that apparently just didn't bother. And there's the second one for the high elves. This is a three real advantage, isn't it? So very, very unlikely. Four two two. Nine point two per cent, Jeebus. If anyone can run bad can, not like that though. <laughs> Who would have thought in a game of skills like penalty kicks that Like mummies raised by magic are better than fucking high elves. Like the literal, you know. Oh, yeah, it was two. It was two to zero. I thought it was three, but you can see there's two rerolls. Yeah, good point. But still, so two rerolls, eighteen point eight percent for run bad. Didn't get it. 
Um, yeah, I thought really good first half from Runbad. Went off a bit off the rails in the second, but then he, you know, he got that good turn that you know I'd give him a good shot to score. Um, so commiserations to Runbad. Congratulations to Lee who played you know mostly mostly fine, right? Uh, you know, solid, solid. Uh, that's pretty much all you can do. It's funny, isn't it? Because like the Kemry just have to like play A B C blood ball, don't they? Basically, and you know do everything right and hope that uh, hope that nothing goes wrong. Basically, twenty-seven GFIs, no fails. Wow. So it helps being a lucky bastard. And seven for run bad. So overall, 34 GFIs, no fails. You won't ever see that in one of my games, I tell you that for nothing. Um, so there you go, congratulations Elite. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.